And here we go again. All right. Flaming hands. Carapace. I'm gonna get the analgesia. And what's that? Oh yeah, too hot. Nah, too hearted. I'm gonna do night vision because um, that's the lazy person that I am. And we're gonna do the marauder. Sleep gas generation. Is that a, a one thing? No, it's two. Yeah, that could be fun, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that with the next character, because I do want to take this character far. I want to actually get a good run with the two-hearted and carapace thing. So uh, I think I'm just going to go with that for the time being, but sleep gas generation is on my to-do list. Okay, so Marauder. Let's do that again. So we have a pretty similar character to the last proper run that I did. And we're gonna... yeah. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna do a random village again. Desert Canyons. That changes it up a bit. Sleep Gas, Freezing Hands, Temper of... That sounds a lot of fun indeed. And you can do some shenanigans with that. Um, what is your name? The village of Durr. Okay. Who are you? Sna Just a snapshot warrior. Yuru Moot or King Yuru Mujer. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, we're actually directly. We're next to the jungle. That's kind of the fun thing if you start in, uh, if you have a desert canyon village. There's the possibility of you starting up here somewhere or down here. I had fun stuff where I was here, down here or something. And uh, that makes for a pretty different start. I really enjoy that. Okay, hello, buddy. Last time skin suit. Cannot wear that, but uh, leather boots. That's nice. Anything cool? Carbide hammer, nothing that I really want. Steel battle axe would be nice. I might just murder. I might I might just murder. Yurumu Jr. Probably. Could be right. Work oops. The king. So Yurumut um That might be the elder, right? So that might actually work after becoming too old for king duties. I just thought, hey, I'm gonna become the elder and my son is... Well, I have a fun dungeon here in that little... in Snapjaw Scavenger canvas. Well, I'm an animal farmer's daughter. I'm gonna accept this quest. I'm going to talk to you, King Yurumu Jr. Yurumu Jr. Uh, is there work around here? No, I will not. Okay, so we need to find Antixic Bionic, an Antixic Bionic Heart in the lair of Naloli, the legendary irritable tortoise. Okay, that's gonna be better. Um. The boss itself is probably going to be quite tough, and I hope it doesn't have any salt bags around. But I think it's probably not going to be just a normal boss group. <laughs> yeah, a legendary bionic heart. They're probably going to use it for their torture chamber. Um, that's a good name. That's a fantastic name. Also, that warden is a gnu. That's also brilliant. Um, you don't. Let's see if we can find that. That's a pretty awesome village we're starting in. I think they also have a torture. They are pretty into torture. <laughs> yeah. You know? There's some, there's some kinky stuff going on here. Which I'm totally in favor of. 
aged aged jam and cider with fillet. That's good. Plus five quickness and fifteen percent regen regeneration. That's actually pretty awesome. You might have to learn that. Um, that's just a history. That's one of the things you know. You don't get a guaranteed historic site from the generated villages. Hey, you wait. Come here. Okay. Okay. Uh, the antics are like plump mushroom. Would be nomadic living all day, but after hearing of the virtue of antixes, consecrated new rituals. Oh, <laughs> antixy like plump mushroom. It's a fun village. It's a bit weird, but we're gonna we're gonna roll with it. I'm taken to the lair of Merla. Is that the same lair, or do we have two layers of irritable tortoises? We have two layers of irritable tortoises. A village with walls made of chrome pyramid sinew. Where they all had glot rod and iron shanks and worshipped the afflicted. That is awesome. I mean, the, cr the chrome pyramid sinew. Or sinew? Sinew, sinew. That's pretty great. That's pretty, that's pretty badass. But the, the glot rod thing is, is, is cool. That's really cool. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on. So, yeah, we can pretty much stick to the desert canyons for now. We have this, Naloli, and we have Merla here. So, yeah. We can basically just pick where we're going, I guess. We're gonna stick to the desert canyons for the time being, obviously, but uh, yeah. All right, Caribus Bronze Battle Axe. Do we have anything better? No, obviously not. Uh, we're gonna extinguish this. Remove. We're gonna drop the torches. Drop that torch. And I think I'm gonna murder the Dromad. Okay, wait. Flaming hands, yes. Dismember two. Charge three. Okay. Loosens. I'm gonna do this again because why the hell not? Also, we're, because of the of the of the meal, we have increased quickness. Oh, they are healing themselves. Let's dismember. So, what do we have here? We dismember. Oops, unlock that stuff. Left hand. Oh yeah, we have cleave, which is also pretty good. Yeah, I like axe. I like axes a lot. And dead. Cool. So, um, let's see. Uh, leather boots equip automatically. Yeah, right. Sinew. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I need to do that actually. Go to the game files and keep it from assigning Titan Carapace to one. Yeah, it just remembers, just remembers it from the first time you do it, which can be a bit, a bit of a thing, but that's okay. Um. I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna get that. Oh, we're gonna get that. We can have we can have a bit of water. We're not carrying much anyway. So I'm gonna use the steel battle axe. We'll put the bronze battle axe back in. Oops, not the left hand. I don't really need that, but uh, it's fun. Raw bear meat, star apple. Do we have another axe? No. No. Can just get the musket actually. Let's equip that. It's heavy, but uh, whatever. We can we can still carry a lot of stuff. So that's cool. Yeah, I've never actually you know. Usually it doesn't matter that much. You can just quickly go into that and assign everything to what you want. But uh, indeed, it can be a bit. A bit annoying. It's fine. It's 
actually a chest here. Yes. Iron dagger. Gonna pick that up. Usually we'll ratio on those. And let's go north into the desert canyon. Croxins. We already have leather boots, so that's cool. They don't do anything else. Oh no, they have a reputation with unshelled reptiles. So I think I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get the iron dagger as well. Good thing for selling. Problem is we cannot really sell right now because uh, need to find a dromad caravan for that. Probably wasn't really worth it killing that poor dromad for uh, just for the steel battle axe, but uh, you know, you know. All right. Well. We're just gonna hang around the desert canyons for a bit and try to level up. There's some flying creature battling going on there. Oh right, the I forgot about that. The uh, um, the torches is up. Obviously, they are not they're not hostile. So because we have the carapace. So uh, going to the lairs is actually pretty awesome because the boss is likely not going to be hostile. Right. Totally forgot. Totally forgot. Okay. All right. Bark armor, bronze longsword. Nope. I'm just going to kill a bunch of the, of the rabble. Da, 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 no, some some death happened around here. Okay. Axe. Yeah, we need to take, we need to get cleave. That's the next thing we're gonna get. Um, yeah, we essentially only have axe. Okay, so if you have, okay, you cannot get scaled or feathered, but you can have it in the throne slot. Um, you don't get, obviously don't get the AV or dodge value, but you, you do get the reputation bonus from that. That's cool, I did not know that. I, in fact, did not know that. Thank you. God damn it! Be careful with the fucking salt hoppers. Jeez, you play the most recent character. We're gonna we're gonna make this work. <laughs> I did it recently. I am just gonna do random in the desert canyons again. We just need to get past the start. Afterwards, it's gonna be not smooth sailing. Obviously not. The game's never smooth sailing, but uh. It's gonna be, it's gonna be better. That's the thing with carapace, you just have to get past a pretty rough starting. Um, and that's Apple Farm's daughter. Elder Eteo Kalok. K. Skatlimo, or Huika Toko, Tokoa. Cool names. What the hell is this? Stone Obelisk. There's some village history on that. Oh, the warden is a, uh, a jilted lover. What are those folks are doing here? Let's get that information. Sizzling meat and roast meat in roast shimmering silk. Cool. Whenever you phase in, uh, well, that's not gonna help us. That's not gonna, that's not very useful. Is there work? Oh, yeah, that was just the warden. Who the hell are you? Seed bitten vine. Moon and sun, wisdom and will. <laughs> Just a normal six foot in vine, but not green. And he has a green head. What's this? Soft growing. Welcome strangers reinforcing the walls of our homes. I teach them the divinity of pyromancers. You know, technically I am a pyromancer. 
a farmer. Wait, it's an actual warlord. Where are those folks? It's a book table. That's also kind of new. Crib canvas for the chair. Yeah, with those updates, they have um, I've added a bunch of stuff. You know, a bunch of sort of in incidental stuff that I that I enjoy. Okay, so flaming hands. Let's do the whole spiel again. Charm. There we go. So, what do you have? Maybe we're gonna let this guy live this time. Depends on what you have. Floating glow sphere. Oh dear. I might not let this guy live. Desert rifle. Steel buckler. Mm -hmm. Well, it pains me, but it must happen. I do have night vision, but uh, floating close here is. It was more night vision. We might, if we find a hover sled or something like that, we might sacrifice that again. But, uh, okay, you've used some kind of injector. Yeah, rubber gun, okay. Not penetrate on that. Uh, badly wounded. Let's do it. Yes. Okay. All right. So, desert rifle is going to get equipped. Steel buckler. We're going to equip that. We don't have block yet, but uh, let's get the canteen. Canteen. Let's get three of them. That's going to be fine. Uh, floating glow sphere, indeed. We're gonna get equipped. The game still does not really have a system of, you know, light emissions and stuff. So, night vision and uh, so I cannot find those people. Um. Night vision and the other thing don't really work differently as far as I know. Where are we need some quests? Ah, there's you. Come here. Soft hissing. Divinity of Paramantus, yeah indeed. So, uh locate Milep. Near my location forgotten to our people. What riches might this place contain? Insect larvae, warm rocks. <laughs> warm rocks? Well, that would be cool, right? An altar to pyromancers. We must know. Compensate you for your labor. Near a secluded merchant from the consortium of Phyta. Okay, Mila. Secluded merchant? Okay, so oddities, section of your journal. And that is up there. And somewhere near that is Miller. within a parasang so yeah so we have essentially eight possible squares where that might be um still where is the red one so you're just a random warlord aren't you yeah might be that salamander. Yes, it is. You know, red salamander. It's, you know, ah. Okay, my services are available. Um, open the godly door. My plan is nearly complete. There's just a single step remaining. I need someone to go to Hartem and open the godly door there. Can't tell you what. Am I going to invite the old ones back into the world? by doing this. What exactly are you planning, Salamander? Oh, it's actually directly next to the thing. Um, Hartung and Milep, pretty close together. 
Okay, so uh, I think we're fine for now. Yes, we are. Did we get a steel? No, there was no steel axe. Desert rising, floating those here. Let me just quickly check out the the items. Uh, where did I kill that guy? Down there. Um, like even if it's an iron axe, no, nothing. That's fine. We're gonna find better stuff. Yeah, like purple. Yeah, maybe purple would be good. Yeah, they do need some extra stuff, but you know, I might put that in. Probably not high on their priority list right now, but uh, yeah. Okay, Desert Canyon. It's kind of a waste to just have auto explore. To just auto explore this, but uh, it's fine. Probably nothing here. Nope. Let's go here. Come on. Here we go. All right. I just want a few snap jaws to murder. Oh yeah, there's some stuff here. We can make. We can make this work. We can kill a kudzu. Now and then. The thing is that the Echomaxes are already kind of clearing shop here. But uh, it's not going to be much in terms of experience that we can get from that, but uh, it's fine. Before that, but that's fine. Oops, that was just the tail. I have a bunch of weird artifacts. Um, oh, these are probably mostly grenades, EMP grenade, fungicide grenade, poison gas grenade. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Sturdy furs, we can drop those. Anything else? I can drop all these stupid torches. We need those. Alright. Rest up. Let's go north. I have different chairs, more on their priority list. Yeah, I guess. Oh, killed by. I'm doing really bad right now. Let's do this again because. Uh... You know what? Fuck it. We're just going to do job up this time. It's more predictable and more boring, but whatever. I'm gonna have plenty of time to do random villagers again. Alright. Accept quest. Bear jerky, copper nugget, okay. I don't need your glow sphere. Also, that was totally a preventable death. <laughs> Always go into that door. Fresh water, what do you have? Ring mail. Don't need that. Uh, without facts, aphorisms about the birds. Folded carbide battle axe. I might just murder you for that. Master musket. You know what? I'm gonna do the thing. Soon. Look. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Usually, it's fun. You know, you can get some cool stuff in the villages, and it's fun to change it up once in a while. But uh, it is a bit more tedious than this. So I usually also just start in Java. Eat fresh apple mats. Boom. And uh, talk to you. Do you have anything cool? No. Get this 
fetch archive and knickknack. We're gonna have a bunch of knickknacks pretty soon. So, flaming hands. Let's remember charge. Dismemberment as well. Dismembered again. What did we dismember? Left hand and face. Okay, so we can actually wear that. No, we're not going to do that. Minus 500 with villagers of Chopper, minus 500 with Dromad merchants. <laughs> kind of don't want that. Um, dismembered again. What have we dismembered this time? Feet. Now you cannot walk anymore. Your easy prey. It was too far away. Should have charged. Charge. Dismember. Yeah, you poor, you poor chap. Hands. Yeah. I kind of feel bad right now. Just a bit. Okay. Oh! So they don't drop... Interesting. So the Dromat Merchant from Joppa does not drop a lot of stuff. That is very interesting. Find it. Oh no, it's, it's here. It was just on the thing. Okay. 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 Here, I don't know. It's kind of like the the Monty Python knight. Probably. I feel so bad about the. I always like. Is that actually on the back? Yeah, it is. So let's just put that there. Vinewood sap metal spectacles. And vision correcting lenses. I think I'm gonna put the sap mask there. We're gonna get the aphorisms about birth. Uh, birth, yeah, right. But birds. We're gonna get the folded carbide and battle axe and equip that. Starting out with a good axe. That's that's good. We're gonna equip the borderlands revolver. Uh, iron buckler is not what I'm into. But uh, let's get some water going. All right. Let's see what we have. Exam. Paint it first. Let's take a look at that. Drop it. Poison gas. And explosive grenades. Flashback grenades. <laughs> Aphorisms about birds. Birds can't eat rice that wasn't planted. Reared on the wisdom of our fairy tales, we were accustomed to feeling pity for the man who is transformed into a frog or finch. But seldom is it that we spare a thought for the artless beast who is transformed into a man and upon whom fate has surely played a much crueler trick. That's a good aphorism. If asked who is responsible for your misfortunes, blame birds. They neither care nor can they muster much of a defense. Let no fear in your heart grow so immense as the fear for large birds. You know, I have a healthy respect for large birds, but uh, I don't walk around outside terrified of the possibility of a large bird attacking me. Birds ruin festivals and lift sieges. Ol Yuri squinted and then nodded at the Glowcrow's suggestion for a game of backgammon. The boy started. But Yuri, how can you dice with these vermin after one pecked out your eye? Yuri shrugged. Can't blame the crow. He was gonna peck whether my eye was there or not. Yes, I don't live in Australia, indeed. But uh, there's a lot of stuff to be terrified of in Australia, I guess. That old meme. The sighting of a crimson swift augurs the death of an aged water baron. A silver thrush 
Oh no. The sighting of a crimson swift augures the death, foretells, I guess, right? The death of a mage water baron. The silver thrush heralds a fossil harvest bountiful in chrome. But the tongueless kagu, stay far from a tongueless kagu, far and farther. Some birds breathe fire. My meaning here is plain. Are dawn gliders birds in the game? I think they count as birds. Atop the spindle, where debtors and birds go. How do the debtors get up? Get up the spindle. I don't know, and I think I don't need to know. Drop. We have eleven copper nuggets. Okay, Argyth. I have a bunch of stuff that I just murdered someone for. Flashbang grenade. Well, let's get rid of the poison gas. Okay. Um, let's put the high explosive grenade in that. Uh, ba -ba -ba, we already have the Borderlands revolver equipped. Can we load it? Did you have anything else? No. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I think we are good. Extinguish, remove. Let's just put the bronze battle axe there for the time being. And uh, yeah. Also, oops, jeez. Let's get our first carapace increase. And there we go. We have all the cool. Okay. Neutral or better reputation with both birds and unshelled reptiles. Yeah, okay. Feathered lizards. Cool. I was actually f I was actually neutral with Donglas ones. Huh. Well, that must have happened, I guess. Alright, let's go. Let's murder the boons. Careful about the scalding steam here. Level 3. I need to charge more, by the way. Okay, mutation point, flaming hands, and we're gonna put a lag in the strength, and we're gonna get cleave. Because cleave is pretty useful. Hate those things. Kind of careful here. At this point in the game. Alright. Let's grab it. So we have a problem when that happens, but now we're fine. Makes Gold Gotha a cakewalk and Red Rock a nightmare. Yeah. You mean the, the asphalt mines? Or why would Red Rock be a nightmare? Because of the water? Or because of the water, probably. Right? As you know. We don't rely too much on. We can still axe some things up good, so. Uh, <laughs> usually not that much of a problem here. We cannot use all of our stuff. Yeah, the water rock time, indeed. Just have to be careful not to. Uh... Do we have butchery? Oh, yeah, we, are, we actually already have butchery, right. Keep in mind not to use flaming hands too much. And then we'll be fine. Okay. Let's see you. That's that. blanking right now because I couldn't remember I'm using it pretty often 
I couldn't remember what I bound auto exploration to. I'm good. I'm very good. My brain works, definitely. Okay, wait. Something is shooting up a storm. You. It was you. Oh, that's an electro-fuge. Stop the recording here. I'm going to do one more, I think, for today.